Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. No idea what this is. Likely somebody's uh, package sent as a response to my recent community post about knives I was looking for for review. If you want to check that out, go to my community tab. You'll have to scroll down a bit. Yes, you get your knives back. Thanks so much to Lou for sending this in. Uh, if it's something I can link, I'll definitely link it right down below so you guys can check it out. I appreciate it when you use my links, but that's up to you. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting me. Link for Patreon down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. Let's, uh, well, there's no tape right there, but I'm still going to make that cut just real quick. Okay, we have pretty nice <laughs> big box there. This is a, <laughs> feels like a fairly large. Kaiser, there is a note. Wonderful. Let's see what we've got here. Ah, MC, and then it says the return address, thank you very much, and it says thanks, Lou, from NYC. Very, very cool. Thank you very much, and, oh, oh, yes, okay, okay, what do we have? <gasps> yes, yes, and there is, oh, and there's another note here. Let's just make sure, <laughs> down the rabbit hole, it's already said yes, wait. Uh, okay, yes, yes, awesome, okay, and then let's make sure um, that we have the um, Instagram plug here, and that's going to be the underscore only underscore Lucifer, um, so check him out on Instagram, it's because of people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily knife content, I've been trying to get my hands on this for a long time, because... This is, I've showed the Sheepdog so many times. I'm going to link this right down below. It's available. I've showed the Sheepdog so many times, but this is, in a lot of ways, it's like the ultimate Sheepdog. And I'm not talking about the fact that it's titanium, just the fact that it's titanium, but also that it does not have a flipper. I've maintained many times that the Kaiser Sheepdog non-flipper, this medium-sized one, is the one that makes the most sense. Yeah, the gigantic one is hilarious. The tiny one is kind of, okay, you can kind of, you know, put it in your pocket and use it for opening letters. But this guy makes a lot of sense. And this, um, <laughs> look at this fuller that goes down the blade. Is that, that's not on, is that on all of them? Can you use it to, I mean, yeah, you definitely can. So ergonomics are wonderful on this guy and this smooth, rounded titanium feels great. This is, look at that blade. I love Kaiser's tumbled finish. That looks so good. I think this is S35VN. Yeah, there it is right there. S35VN, titanium, nice pivot collar there. Uh, I think you can get these solid or with the holes in them. They have a nice 3D milled clip that is really good for this model. Um, just makes perfect sense. Choke back on it, choke up on it. There's a nice, of course, sheep's foot blade. We don't have to labor over the definition of what that blade is. It is a sheep's foot. <laughs> it's kind of should be obvious. I'm sure somebody will, you know, dissect it in the comments. Uh, I love the choke up position down here, and I love that there's nothing except for the hole in the cutting path, but that hole just makes it so, so easy to manipulate. Yeah, I like this. This is the first time I've ever handled the titanium one. I've got reviews on the less expensive Vanguard version of this knife. So if you're looking at this and thinking, I would love that if they made a less expensive version of it, yeah, they do. I'll link it down below. They make the Vanguard version, which is micarta, a steel liner lock, and I think, what are they? Are they 14C or they 12C27N, something like that? Maybe 154CM. It's all good, all of it. Um, this is really good. I, I really like this right off the bat, the full tie version of this. Um, this is probably one of the best knives that Kaiser makes right now, and it's been available for a bit. It's not like this is new. Um, action, very good. I love the finish on it, seriously. How nice is this? This is a perfect tumbled finish. That high polish, high, re uh, high reflectivity, but there's still a nice, even sort of grain structure in the tumbling there. Gosh, that's nice. Uh, centering. This is a used knife. Is it on? Yeah, that's on. Okay. I was about to say, I mean, it's a used knife, so if it's off a little bit, no big deal. Solid. Very good. Yeah. Exactly what I what I expected it to be. Um, so, like I said, you can find this in the description. You can find the less expensive Vanguard version down in the description. 
Uh, both excellent. You can find my review on the Vanguard version on my channel. This, the full comprehensive review, because this is not a review. This is an unboxing of first impressions. I've never handled this exact variant before. But I will be reviewing it down the road. So uh, those of you who want to you know, wait and hear what I have to say, well, that'll come down the road in a, a couple of weeks. Thanks again to Lou for letting me borrow this and check it out. This is pretty cool. Pretty excited about it. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.